Right then, we're approaching the end of the trawl through chemistry that is. And if you haven't seen any more, go to Matrava's Science Revision and you can see all of them. They're great. So here, acids and alkalis and a bit of neutralisation. Um, we've got a beautiful picture here of hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. This obviously is the acid, uh, given away a bit by the word acid. And this is sodium hydroxide. Now, all acids have got these ions in them, hydrogen ions, okay? Hydrogen ions. Um, sulfuric acid is H2SO4, so it's got some H in it, and uh, nitric acid, HNO3, H in it. So acids, H plus ions, really important, acids, H plus ions. Alkalis, this one here, sodium hydroxide, have OH minus ions, OH minus ions, H plus, OH minus. Now, when you add hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide together, we make one of those lovely salts. It's a neutral salt, it's called. So, in this case, you would make the neutral salt sodium, spell it right, sodium chloride. Had it been sulfuric acid, it would have been sodium sulfate. And had it been nitric acid, it would have been sodium nitrate. I put that on most of my things, do remember that. And you also make some water. Now, when we talk about a neutral salt, we need to talk, uh, have a look at something called the pH scale. Um, and the ionic equation for this is H plus, right, uh, here, plus, plus, OH minus, this is a bit of a weenie plus, that isn't it, plus OH minus, goes to H2O. Okay, so that's where the water is. The water, see? There's the H, two H's and an O, H2O. So acids have got H plus ions, alkalis have got OH minus ions, and together they make H2O. Fabulous. Okay? So another bit to point out here, there are bases as well. Uh, bases are sort of insoluble alkalis. And they do the same thing. Right, well, they're okay. They're fine. So we've got uh, the pH scale we were just going to talk about. Let's have a look. That's pretty pretty. So here is the pH scale. Lots of pretty colours. Um, the pH stands for percentage hydrogen. You won't really have to know that. It's okay. So if we wanted to see what the pH of hydrochloric acid is, we could dip in some universal indicator paper or some universal indicator liquid and we pop it in and it would go around here, this sort of colour here, very acidic. So sulfuric acid is not a toy, it's very acidic here. Now if we squeeze the lemon juice and we popped in some universal indicator, it'd probably be around this bit here, sort of a weak acid. And then we get to seven, which is neutral. That's the water, yeah, neutral. And remember, this makes a neutral salt. So this would be our pH 2 sort of thing. And this one, well, we haven't got to that one yet. That, Mr. Muscle, lots of other cleaners here are alkaline. They go to down here, this, these high numbers and this beautiful purpley colour, bluey purple colour. So if I put some universal indicator in this, it'll be red, and this one would be bluey purple. But if I put them together, I make this neutral salt and water, which will be green which is nice isn't it sorts it all out another way of uh, seeing whether it's um let's get rid of it acid or alkali is using litmus paper it's an indicator this is an indicator this universal indicator so is litmus paper now if i have blue litmus paper and i put an acid on it it goes red and if i have red litmus paper and i put alkali it goes blue so luckily it's the same sort of colors blue for alkaline red for acid. So if I had red litmus paper and put an acid on, it wouldn't look much different. It'd look wet, but it wouldn't look much different because red is what blue litmus paper goes um, if you put acid on it. Here, if you've got red litmus paper, it'll go blue if you put an alkali on it. Okay, that's it really. Uh, acid, alkalis, and neutral salts. You can have a go at these ones. Oh, remember, what can you can remember? Hydrochloric makes what? chlorides i hear you say yes sulfuric acid makes sulfates yep yeah. and nitric acid makes nitrates fabulous thank you